Today, Blue Origin made this successful second flight of their new Glenn rocket, and this time they successfully landed it. This comes almost 10 years after Blue Origin successfully landed their new Shepard booster. But New Shepard was never designed to carry payloads all the way to orbit. That's what New Glenn is supposed to do. It is a very big rocket, and it, with its relatively low acceleration, it seemed to take off very, very slowly. But it did eventually reach stage separation, and its second stage lit, carrying the payload onwards towards orbit. For this flight, the payload was going to be Escapade A and B, or Blue and Gold. They were a pair of spacecraft which were supposed to be going to Mars. But long before they reached orbit, the first stage was to perform a landing on the drone ship Jacqueline. We had fantastic footage throughout this process, starting with the entry burn, followed by an aerodynamic glide using the fins and the strakes to control it, then three engines relit for the initial part of the landing burn, and then at this point, well, we began to lose it in the clouds and the connection wasn't so good. And then many veteran rocket watchers like myself could see that it had missed the barge. But this was intentional. Unlike the Falcon 9, which has to perform a hover slam, the new Glenn booster can throttle down its uh, centre engine and hover, allowing it to carefully translate over, position itself above the barge and then descend for a landing right in the middle of the barge. Clearly all that experience with New Shepard has paid off. But landing on a barge in the middle of the ocean, they had one extra trick up their sleeves. There's a flash of light, a puff of smoke from each of the landing legs. In slow motion, we can see this in more detail. This is a process that is using explosive welding to weld those landing legs to the deck of the ship to stop it moving during high seas. Meanwhile, the second stage continued on to orbit and then later it boosted itself into a departure trajectory and finally deployed both satellites for their mission to Mars.